In August 2007, Lauren Hennessy had a routine physical as she prepared for a new semester of nursing school. But when a suspect freckle turned up melanoma, she went to Duke University Medical Center for surgery. Before her operation, anesthesiologist TJ Gann told her about a new Duke study assessing how acupuncture may help manage post-surgery pain and spare some patients the side effects associated with opioids and other strong pain relievers. A lot of people get nauseous and vomit after anesthesia, and this was supposed to reduce that. And for me, I never, I never vomited. I was nauseous for very sh shortly, and um, my pain was very minimal. Indeed, Dr. Gann's research showed patients who received acupuncture during surgery had a significantly lower risk of developing common side effects associated with opioid drugs that are usually taken to manage post-surgical pain. Compared to control patients in the study who didn't receive the acupuncture, those who did experienced 1.5 times lower rates of nausea, 1.3 times fewer incidents of severe itching, and 1.6 times fewer reports of dizziness. Acupuncture does increase the body endorphins, so these are the, uh, the natural occurring pain-killing chemicals uh, that our body produces, so acupuncture can mediate that. It actually increases the level of endorphins, which is like a, a board, our own body morphine. And so that is a good thing because the, the body endorphin, while reducing the level of pain, it doesn't produce the opioid-related side effects. In the study, prior to surgery, acupuncture needles and sometimes electrodes delivering a small current were attached to specific points on the body. Needles were then placed in target points that corresponded to various receptors in the body that are related to pain and nausea. For example, a point on the inner ankle is targeted for urinary retention, while another point at the back of the hand is effective in reducing pain. Although doctors still aren't completely sure how or why acupuncture works, its supporting role in pain pain and stress management is becoming more accepted by practitioners in conjunction with common Western medicinal practices. At the Duke University Medical Center, I'm Mike Garrison.